picture. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, what's more nerve-wracking, walking out to bat in an Ashes test or 18 Premier League footballers looking at you with a ball flying through the air and Roy Hodgson saying, your ball, Joe? Definitely the, the second one. Yeah, that was that was nervy. I'm not sure about the service from the keeper, but no, that was certainly nerve-wracking and yeah, my touch needs a bit of improvement, that's for sure. A couple actually on the side of the field. You know. Header as well? Yeah, header as well, so um, if you need a centre midfielder, just let me know. Joe, what do you think of Sam's skills? Oh, God. Well, Overrated. Yeah, his touch was certainly better than mine in that little drill, but career goals, he's probably a bit way behind me. Assists, I think. I'm assists. <laughs> Sam, how much do you enjoy the training session? Oh, far more than cricket training, of course. Always when you see other sports at the top level training, and there's always things you can learn from yourself. That was great fun. Massive football fan, both of us, so uh, to come here today was brilliant. Yeah, it makes you realise how, you know, I thought I was a decent footballer coming here today and going away thinking rather differently. <laughs> the speed and the, the pace that they play the game at is, is phenomenal, so yeah, great to witness. What was the Roy Hodgson team talk like? Very relaxed. Exactly how you think it would be, to be honest. Straight to the point, the detail and, and what you have to do and get out of it. When you get to the top level, it's actually the work ethic and he was talking about actually how some of the guys you need to take down the intensity a little bit if you've got a game tomorrow. And they're all seriously talented blokes. The speed, how, how they move the ball so quickly, that was the most impressive thing for me. Anyone who particularly impressed you? Max Meyer. Uh, technically, I, I said to Joe before, I said this bloke, I, I think he's a good player. <laughs> Only on FIFA as well, you see. So they're all impressive, but for me, he, he was stand up. 78. Good technique. Very, very fast. I mean, quite frankly, when you see the ball come down, you see the speed it goes at. But when I was actually feeding them in, to be honest, you know, I couldn't pick up the, the flight of that. The first I, I knew the ball had gone is when Joe hit it. He has a keen interest in the game and I think he goes down to the Oval and, and follows a bit of Surrey and, and watches a bit of England when they're playing there as well. I need to bowl better. And I'm amazed at the courage these guys show and the incredible technique that they have and of course the incredible concentration they have. You look very good missing him, Joel, I've got to say. Just try and absolutely snap this, right? Needed a little bit of time to adjust to the ball and adjust to the flight, and, uh, but I think I got it towards the end. How fast did it, did it feel? Uh, it was quick. Yeah, it was quick. I think it was a 70 or 75, uh, which isn't that quick by their standards. You've got quite a good stance down there. Were you a pretty good batsman at school? Uh, I, I wouldn't go as far to say that, no. Yeah, just grip it and rip it. Yeah, the position in which that you end up in is far better than trying to be defensive. Once he got the hang of it, and um, I just told him to smack it, and yeah, he couldn't miss it after he'd done that. Well, I did play a little bit for a club side. It would be closer to 50 to 40 years ago. Batsman or bowler? I thought I was a batsman, but I wasn't. <laughs> it's a great game. If anyone saw the World Cup final, obviously, this year with England and, and then the Ashes as well. Yeah, what an incredible summer of cricket it's been. It's captured the, the whole nation and on the back of that World Cup win and a very um, intriguing Ashes series as well. It really is a game for everyone and we'd always welcome Palace fans. Obviously, being a part of it this morning, seeing some of the players. and, and So, yeah, I might uh, follow Palace from now on.